<coughs> anyway, you know last week I showed you this pair of very nice. This is to be perfect. It's my birthday. What? Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> iPhone X is the standard, not iPhone 8. Why am I friends with you guys? Stop you know how Bro, this one expensive, you know. Yeah, brother. You know, the both of us. But we just ate prata last week. Okay. Um, how about sushi? Do you know that I am allergic to seafood? I cannot eat sushi. Why is my birthday week? Birthday week. Birthday week. Ah. Babe, thank you for today, okay? I had a nice time. Ah, no problem. Uh, shall I send you to the bus stop, take bus, go home? Uh, bus? Um, I wear heels. What are you talking about? Um, but we gotta take the bus, you know, the, just know the sushi is a bit too expensive, we gotta save money. It's my birthday week. It's your birthday week. Ah, it's your last week. It's my girlfriend, I tell you. Say that again. I say you are so beautiful. You make my legs, my limbs all weak. Oh, okay. Let's go take the taxi. Go. Let's go. Thank you guys for coming to my birthday. Nobody else remember my birthday except you guys. Except you guys. Yeah, y'all can handle this. Little Jakey and the Mickey Mouse squad about to shut it down, baby. Team 10. Bunch of social media rejects that I signed to take the paychecks. I'm Logan's kid, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. By that I mean my raps can suck, that's obvious though. I made a song so goddamn bad, it's Friday, said this. It makes all Jacob's music sound like Grammy winning hits. Yeah, what well, like a semen stew? Can't get whiter than us, dude. This is Team 10, bitch, we the Zero Talent crew. Who are all these no name kids? Nobody has a clue. What do any of you do? Leech off of your Logan Bay. I'm so famous, rich and crew. Hey man, why are we called Team 10? It stands for my IQ. His lyrics prove that it's true. Since I'm popping on YouTube, I'll make creepy music too. With horrible flows and rhymes, Kit Kat's got more boss than I do. Couldn't think of a name, creative like Logan. So just add an ER after.
a bunch of other frickin' lies. Frickin', frickin', frickin'. Here we go again. Last week I was in some drama. This dude drops a 30 minute video on me, diss track, and then you know I respond and I also drop a diss track and then he drops a response to my response. And then I could have dropped a response to his response to my response, but that just would have kept going and I just had to put an end to it because he was just playing out hating. He was just making fun of me for no reason. Then I would have shown you this. That shit got so much dislikes. So many dislikes. The most popular video. No. I guess that accumulated a lot of haters. Accumulated? Why aren't we hearing these made up words in your song. But yeah guys, our drama accumulated a lot of views and the reason why I brought this up is because, I mean, Jake Paul just roasted me. You know, he made a lot of points in this video just taking me down. He said I was a bully. He said he made my career. He said I wanted to join Team 10. I mean, he was saying some insane, insane stuff, but to top it off, call your mom and tell her that it's your big day because this will make you the most relevant that you've ever been. I mean, he was saying some crazy stuff, but this right here is insane. How can you think that? Bro, the most relevant you've been in your life was when you dropped every day, bro. We're in the song, he dissed Alyssa, and then magically out of nowhere, a couple days, you and your brother just start hating each other. You guys randomly just start having internet beef, but like, I know brothers do say the darndest things sometimes, but like, was it really serious enough to drop diss tracks and diss tracks and videos about each other? I mean, you guys could easily just like, call each other up and squash it. I don't know. Anyways, Alyssa's and Jake beef was actually really, you know, Jake just randomly just dissed her and she was defensive. She doesn't know how to rap. She came to me, we made a song and it banged. And then randomly, a couple days later, Logan and Jake no longer hate each other. They just magically love each other. Just now they're one big happy family. Basically, whether the drama was real or fake, you were involved in drama that you started. So for you to say this, people shouldn't be like beefing over the internet and like going back and forth and back and forth. You literally were just fake beefing with your brother for views. When he was surrounded by all this controversy, he was getting like six to seven mil a video, right? And that wasn't even Long ago, that was like a couple months ago. Fast forward a few months, and be up max. Like, that is just for real, though. Like, that's a hundred percent accurate. He knows what's up. Like, you just understand that in his rose video, he made it seem like he's my dad, like he was above me, and all along, he's been admiring me. Like, it's one thing to watch my video, it's another thing to watch the video, like, and comment. But Jake went out of his way to make a song just hyping me up. Like, that's some next level fanboy. Regardless, like I said, Jake said some insane, crazy stuff that I feel like I deserve to defend myself because that's not fair, right? So, just hear me out. But this is gonna be a good one. He talks about how Nick and Tessa are fat and he is body shaming them. He calls me out for fat shaming, body shaming when I really wasn't. I mean, I was just explaining our elevator is spacious. Yours is just not that big where if two people were to go in there, it would break. It would just over capacity. I could have said anyone's name and I just so happened to not like Nick and Tessa because of our past experience. You know, we I have my reason. But I wasn't fat shaming, body shaming. If anything, I was elevator shaming. So sorry to your elevator if I offended any elevators out there, if anything. No, but nowadays the internet is very sensitive and I could see why, you know, people might see that as body shaming, as fat shaming. I was joking and I didn't mean to say that, but I am sorry for doing that. You no, know, but that being said, Jake Paul has no room, no room to call me out for that. <laughs> It's just one muffin, why not? I guess it's time to go work out, man. Bro, let's go with me. Yeah, let's do it. No, so, Imagine someone that was like uncomfortable with their body saw this type of stuff. Like, that would just ruin their experience at the pool. They would always try to cover up. Like, how can you come out and call me out when you film these type of videos and you tweet these type of stuff? I know people were gonna say, this was the old him, this was back then on Vine. These are all old tweets. Guys, I wasn't even gonna bring up old stuff. I really wasn't, but he did it first. The one example is like the rape thing. Like, how can you support, how can you even make fun of that as a human being? But the thing is, what I said three years ago was unexpected. She randomly called me off guard and I just slipped out, I accidentally said something I didn't mean, I said sorry. Jake, on the other hand, was purposely making these videos just fat shaming and body shaming. It wasn't an accident, he sat there, he directed it, he filmed it, he was a part of it, he was in it. He posted it just for what? To make jokes about fat people? Like, does that make yourself feel cooler? But look, Jake, also, if you're a firm believer of no fat jokes, no fat shaming, no body shaming, if you're that much of a firm believer, then you need to call out your own dad. You see that? I just want to come over there, that fat kid. <laughs> 
fat. Your dad, a grown ass man, went out of his way to call a fan fat. You have no room to call me out for fat shaming when you've been doing it for who who even knows how long, and we all know who you learned it from. Hey, someone from over there, that fat kid. He starts to make fun of suicide, and by implying that. I should kill myself. I guess I got some explaining to do. So in Jake's house tour video, he asked the viewers, he asked the audience, you guys comment where you think and what you think should go in different places. But guys, I don't know what I want to put in here. I need your help with this. Like, what should I put in here? Does anyone know any dope like furniture that's like unique and cool and dope? I wouldn't just randomly tell him to put a chair and a rope in his house. You know, he asked for the help and I just cracked a really bad joke and said, for decoration, put a rope there and for furniture, put a chair there. But I wasn't implying Jake to go commit suicide or you know anyone in Team 10 to go commit suicide. It was just, it was a reaction video and I just tried to be funny and just did a really bad joke. But did what I say encourage my viewers to go out there and kill themselves? No. Did what I say increase the rate of suicide? No. But guys, I'm not delusional. Unlike Jake, when I mess up, I know I mess up and I will sit here and own up to my mistakes. So with that being said, I am sorry to everyone that took offense to my joke. It wasn't even a joke. It wasn't even funny at all. And I am so sorry to everyone that took offense, including Jake. I am sorry. And to all the families that had to suffer because of suicide, I'm sorry deeply to you guys too for just being very, very insensitive and just something that I should not be joking about. And for you to make fun of somebody for their attributes that they might not be able to control is up and you need to be stopped. Stop being a piece of shit. There is more to the world out there than bringing people down. He makes it seem in his video that like all I do, everything I put out is just negative. Everything I put out is always a roast this, this, this. When in reality, that's not even true, bro. Yeah, I roast people, but there's Q&As, there's challenges, there's vlogs, there's music videos. Like I do other stuff besides just roast. All these YouTubers are always on the same stuff. Like they're always so happy, always so, oh, I want to be a good role model. Let's change the world, positive vibe, positive vibe. And like, yeah, that's cool. But like, I just want to be different. And surprisingly enough, there's actually people out there that enjoy me making roast videos which also encourages me to do it even more but the thing is i'm like kind of confused because why is he offended didn't he make that song i thought similar to my 8 million subscribers i thought that you would understand my sense of humor why you take it serious he does it just for fun but after calling me out for being a bully and a terrible person he proceeds to say you're making fun of something that could be out of someone's control and everyone should feel comfortable on their own bodies and everyone can look however the f they want i agree that is a very very good point but how are you gonna just say that when you've done yes <laughs> where are you from i'm from kazakhstan originally but oh. it sounds like you're just gonna blow someone up you're like send the nuke he asked the fan where he was from and from the fan's answer he makes a bomb joke not only was he born there and it's something that he can't even control but dude that's racist oh. <laughs> I thought that was Tessa, are you good because you laugh like a walrus all the time it's <laughs> annoying Okay, not only was that kind of mean, but like that's something that she can't control. You just burst out laughing sometimes, and she was born with that laugh. And to top it all off, every time she laughs, starting now, in the back of her head, she's like, damn, should I laugh, you know, not too loud, because I might sound like a walrus. She's going to be insecure and just kind of ashamed of her laugh. Can't feel like a with a mugly girlfriend. Okay, so if you're confused, check out this picture. It kind of looks like Jake is just telling the kid what to say. And by the editing, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Jake was really out in these streets talking to the kid like, Okay, okay, say chance. Chance. Okay, good. Now say still. Still. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, making out. Making out. Perfect, perfect. Okay, with his ugly. Make sure you say ugly. With his ugly? Okay, last one. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. And so all he needs to do now is get his editor to chop it up and make it good. But wait, wait, let's top it all off and just put subtitles just so she knows she's ugly. A little kid saying something savage. Yeah, it's funny. Ha ha ha. But then again, you're calling her ugly. That is her appearance. She was born that way. She can't control the way she looks. But hey, look, I'm not offended. He was just cracking a joke. All I'm trying to say is next time you try to call me out for something, just make sure and just double check that you haven't done it yourself because it just makes you look really dumb. <laughs> At the start of his rant, the tone in his voice, like, he just seemed very serious and, like, as if he was very sad and disgusted. And then, all of a sudden, he just starts switching up, like, in this poor attempt to try to take me down. He also tries to add humor into the video. Like, guys, these are actual words coming out of his mouth. I am his daddy and I-dubs is his mom. Logan and I are your dads. We gave birth to you. Okay, I thought my dad was Asian. Wow, this is a lot to take in. Just give me a second to just process this. All right, so he said he was my dad, right? And they said I-dubs is my mother. And then he said, Logan is also my dad. So these three guys 
I don't know how they made I formed me somehow, but how do I look like this? If they're actually my dad, should I look like this? I mean, I'm just confused right now, but wait, wait according to his logic, wouldn't that make Logan my grandfather? Because he made your career. So that would make Logan your grandfather, and you guys just made me. Like, am I adopted? I, I just don't understand. But the point he was trying to make when he called himself my dad, he was basically saying that he made me, and he's responsible for my success. But wait, hold on. If we add up all the videos that you've ever made about me, it equals 200 million of your views. Your biggest video is because of me. I am your dad. Okay, I only use them so much in my videos is because I realized that there is such a big market for anti-Jake Paul. Like, people that don't like Jake Paul, Jake Paul haters. Like, his most popular video has more dislikes than likes, and I instantly knew Jake Paul has more haters than fans. So I instantly had to hop on and count lies on the market and just get all these new fans but the thing is I don't understand why he's acting like he created me like I already had five million subscribers before I even roasted Jake let alone I was already considered a top youtuber before he even came into the scene and before I even knew who you were I was already dropping bangers these were all viral videos that I just planned out did on my own I came up on my own did you film these videos did you edit these videos are your names in these titles no so stop acting like you created me and I'm gonna be honest last year I made quite a bit of videos on Jacob Sartorius I got a ton of views I'm of this kid but as of right now Jacob Sartorius isn't nearly as big as he was last year because as Jacob went down Jake Paul went up every year youtubers come and go and you just so happen to be the Jacob Sartorius this year and then next year when someone more viral and more annoying than you pops up I'll be the first one to make a video about him get my subscribers get my viewers up and then I'm bouncing <laughs> But in your video, you started comparing us. You started saying that, oh, our house is this, your house is that. Don't ever compare me to your sorry ass. All right, man, he has a point, you know. Just because our house are, you know, in the same level of coolness, there is no way I can be comparing myself to him. He has more subscribers than me. He has more views than me, which means he makes more money than me. He's also an actor in a Disney show, so for him to say we can't compare each other, he has a point, and he low-key roasted me. But then after saying don't compare us, he proceeds to compare us. I bought this house with my own damn money. You're paying rent for one room. Congrats on your house. Uh, it looks like something I would want to raise a family in. But as of now, I need a place where I can trap out of. And you know, buying a house is such a big commitment and I get bored really easily. And chances are, in six months or so, I will get bored of this place and I'm gonna rent a bigger place. You made a video about your AdSense earnings. Let's check it out. So last month, I made a roughly $60,000. If I make $60,000 in one day, I come here to my bed and I cry myself to sleep as a failure. $60,000 for me is a bad day. Yeah, I know. You make more money than me. Like, I don't think you had to say that because everyone watching already knew that information. You know, like, all you had to say was, don't ever compare me to your sorry ass. Like, that's all you had to say. Like, we already got the message. You don't have to keep comparing us after you say don't compare us. But anyways, about the 60K thing, that was about a year ago when I was still in my mom's house. You know, times have changed, but like, everyone starts somewhere. You know, people would kill for 60K a month. Some people can't even make 60K a year. But according to Jake's Paul logic, you know, I'm not on his level, but you know, according to his logic, I would consider 60K a week a very, very bad week, a terrible week. But am I gonna cry myself to sleep over it? No, because money isn't what makes me happy. Brian is a YouTuber. I am an actor, a businessman, a CEO. I run a multi-million dollar company. Is it that serious? Like, he's like really getting into it. Guys, when I was comparing us, this is all I said. This is our house at night, this is their house at night. Who has the cooler house from the outside? Just vote in the comments, I'm just really curious. In your video, you started comparing us. Don't ever compare me to your sorry ass. Dude, relax, like, is it really that serious? I was just curious. This dude's over here like spitting and shit. Anyways, he just keeps going on. I'm a Disney Channel star. I've done Fox movies, YouTube Red movies. I have my own YouTube Red show. My page has 3 billion views. I've been doing this for one year. Okay, dude, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Your accomplishments are impressive, period. Like what you're doing is already good, already cool. I don't know why he keeps putting a time frame on him. He actually he just magically pops up and now he's just making 60K a day. Like, he just keeps saying it took him a year. He did all this stuff in a year. You made a song just fanboying me and sucking me off a year and a half ago. Like, that alone is already over a year. Not to mention, rewind three years back, you were already actively trying on YouTube and posting vlogs. Stop it. <laughs> No, he wasn't ready. I've been doing this for one year. 
But even before that, your brother was already big on Vine, and that's how you started out on Vine, and then you proceed to make Instagram videos, Facebook videos. You were already getting views and followers. Like, I didn't know you back then. I wasn't a fan back then, but like, this is all public knowledge. You damn near have put so many years into this. Like, you have so many people around you constantly helping you. You have a camera crew. You have a team that edits your videos. You've been in LA for like years now, honestly, which means you've been developing connections and you have more resources. Like, you worked your way up, and you deserve all the things you have because you worked for it, but it did not take you a year, so please, just please stop saying that. And then not only that though, he proceeds to slander and disrespect my name. You've been a YouTuber for like, since I can remember. As long as you can remember, why is this guy making it seem like I've been grinding my whole life? So let's go back and look at some of my first vids. This was actually my first viral video, and this video was actually posted before this video, which didn't go viral, sadly. But this was a thank you for 50K that was posted after, which means I didn't even have 50K at the time. I think I had like 10K. And for people that make videos, they know starting out from nothing and just starting out brand new on a new platform, it is literally almost impossible. Like a few videos before my D's kids must be stopped, I literally said. But if this video gets 2,000 thumbs up by the night, I'll I was literally asking for 2,000 likes. I'm getting 2 million now. That shit was nothing. I came up. So let's clarify. I went from nothing to 8 mil in under 2 years. I built a name for myself through the bottom of YouTube. You, on the other hand, had a famous brother. You were doing Vines. You were doing Instagram. You were doing Facebook videos. And then you transferred your fan base who already built to YouTube. So for you to make it seem like I'm the one that has been grinding my whole life and you're the one that just magically pops off in one year is ridiculous because in reality, you're the one that has been doing this shit longer than me. This whole video has been consistent of just Jake saying the most craziest things, but wait, it doesn't stop there. He just keeps going. It's crazy how you guys want to copy us and create your little clout gang. Since when was starting a team and bringing together YouTubers to form a group your idea? I don't know who the first person to do this was, but it definitely wasn't you. Because do you know what MadCon is where all the Viners join together to form a group? Or FaZe Clan, a group of just gamers to you know, all come together? Or Sidemen? David Dobrik's crew, like the list goes on. The only thing that separates Team 10 from all these other groups is you guys just have more fans. That's it. You guys are doing the same exact formula. There's a proven formula to work and it just makes making content a lot easier, make growing a lot easier. You guys are all sharing fans. You guys are all collaborating. But the thing is, you claim that Team 10 is like one big happy family when Alyssa used to be in Team 10 and she told me everyone in Team 10 hates you. They despise you. They're just around you to get their followers up. Cloud Gang is all my friends. I'm living in a house with my friends. There's no leader. There's no head boss. No one takes orders from anyone. Me and Banks had a vision, so that's why we started up Cloud Gang, but we're not leaders. We're not above anyone. Like, we're all equals. We're all friends. Alyssa told me what Team 10 meant, and you actually even said this in an interview, but it used to be named 10 Digit Entertainment or something like that. 10 Digit Media, some random stuff. They switch it over to Team 10. The 10 in Team 10 represents 10 digits, and there's 10 digits in 1 billion dollars. And the main goal is for Jake's company, Team 10, to be worth 1 billion dollar one day. It seems like all he cares about is money. He's doing all this team stuff just for the money, which is okay because that's his life. I mean, that's his business. Like, I like money too. But don't say we copy you guys when you guys weren't even the first ones to do it. On top of that, our goals and motives are just completely different. Clout and clout gang, like, go Google it. The actual definition means power and influence. That's what we care about. That's what motivates us. It is now a popular slang word that represents followers and internet activity. I love making videos because it is fun and also I have a voice. People actually listen to the things I say. The things I say actually affect people in a good way or sometimes even in a bad way. That's why Jake is mad at me. That's called influence. I don't care about a 10 digit or making a billion dollar company. I am driven solely off of power and influence. You are driven solely off of money. Stop saying we are trying to copy. We are not even the same. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but throughout that whole video, it was just filled with manipulation. And if you are a Brian Lee supporter, like, I feel sorry for you. Oh no, guys, Jake Paul feels bad for us. What are we gonna do? And Brian Lee supporters, there is more to the world than dragging people down and being negative. That won't as need a side to change your life around for the better. So I don't see this as Rice Gum versus Jake Paul drama. I see this as Jake firing shots at Cloud Gang. What's good, baby? It's your boy, Vaze Vaze, and I'm back for another YouTube video. This is a very special video. Back in Boston. I'm back.